to another video whatever 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 and today y'all we doing a vice for freshmen and i got some stuff on my ipad it looks like a lot but it's really not that much but it's in two categories and the categories are social and school stuff first thing is going to be social and the main thing i want to talk about is friends and friend groups you want to keep your circle as small as you can because there is so many fake girls out there like honestly i hate that i had to deal with so many falling out with so many fake friends because i just wanted to be friends with people but like sometimes you gotta listen to people when they tell you oh no like she she weird she that or that but sometimes y'all gotta like you gotta figure it out for yourself to see if they actually fake because people be talking and they be gossiping which also goes to the next one is gossiping like stay out of that don't be don't be messy and being in drama every other week you do not want to be in drama all the time and like it's okay to listen to it and like talk to your friends about it sometime but like don't be in it like just just watch from a distance but don't be in the drama the next one is freshman hunter freshman hunter you need to stay away from them. They're they're a real thing, y'all. There's people out there, upperclassmen that are looking at freshmen like prey. Like literally, don't don't fall for that. Like I don't know, I don't understand why girls do, but I'm not gonna judge nobody because that's your business. Those seniors, they only want one thing from you, and if you you willing for that one thing, then that's you, girl. But. If you're trying to be in a serious relationship with a senior baby, you're setting yourself up for a heartbreak that, that I don't know, your chest is gonna be hurting for months, babes. Don't do it. Zero out of 10 will not recommend. I never tried it, but I would never try it. Because, yeah. Just because they got a car and some money, girl, don't fall for that. Like, at all, don't. Like, they only want one thing, and then when they get that one thing, it's done for you. Like, you're they on to the next restaurant, like literally. And they should really go to jail for that because those are children. No offense to y'all though. Those are literally grown men trying to talk to 13 year old girls. Like, you're going to jail. So that also leads to the next topic, which is dating in high school. Honestly, I'm in a relationship, but if I'm not in a relationship, that's the advice I'm gonna give you. Don't take no nigga serious in high school. Like, honestly, don't. They're gonna play in your face. But there is some, I'm not gonna just say, every boy but most will play your face and then move on to your to your home girl <laughs> if you got some real friends they won't but that's what they gonna want to try to do like move on to your home girl do you really think your high school relationship is gonna last outside of school let's be real think about that before y'all talk about kids and all i want to get married do you really see yourself being with that man? I'm taking no no boy serious at all. Like, even though I'm in a relationship that's been in it for two years, but it don't matter. Don't take these niggas serious. That don't matter. What JT said in that one song? Oh, you ain't tricking, nigga. I'ma hit your man's up. Okay, this one is the most second. This is the second important one. Don't send nudes. <laughs> like, honestly, like, no, like, no joking don't do that because it's gonna like you send it to your boyfriend at the time and then y'all break up and then it'd be like he gonna send it to his homeboy then he gonna send it to his homeboy and his homeboy's gonna send it to that other homeboy and then his homeboy's gonna tell his girl best friend then his home then she gonna send it to her people and then your her people is your people then boom then wait everybody in school know and then you look dumb because you sent a boy news. Like, I never sent a boy news, but I seen so many girls do it, and then I end up seeing the news. And it's so, like, you want everybody at school to know how your body look. Like, just don't do it. Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. Please, babes, I promise you, it's not worth it. Like, tell that boy no. Tell that boy to go in the pee. You know what I mean? Ooh! I gotta, I gotta put that in the beginning. I don't know. Oh, for real don't send nobody no news because baby it's not worth it it's not worth all that trouble that you're gonna have to go through and if you do so happen to do it and that so happens to happen to you like everybody sees it and all that you can really sue him you could really sue him and then he's gonna be on that 
Don't quote me on that, but I do know that he can get in trouble for that. But don't quote me on that. A list, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I can say too much, but he gonna be on that list. Go to all the school events because, like, you don't want to just go to high school just to like go to school and just go home. You want to like experience other stuff, like go to homecoming, um, the football games, the basketball games. Like, you want to just go to everything, pep rallies, all of that, because. You just want to experience high school, you know? What you going to tell your kids about high school when you get older? That you just went to school and then went home? Like, go to everything. Go to everything. I, like, my freshman year, I literally went to almost everything. I went to a lot of football games, and I went to a lot of basketball games. And did I go to any other game? Oh, and then I was supposed to go to this boy volleyball thing, but I got I got real sick. That's all I got to say. Give it up your freshman year, because that's the most... That's, that's the year that you like. That's the biggest year. That's the biggest year besides senior year. That's your biggest year, babe. That's you gotta go all out. Go to school stuff, and the first thing I really want to talk about is how high school really is. Like, it's not how teachers and maybe adults make it seem like. It's not high school musical, and it's not all straight. If like my school, most schools I feel like. Most schools aren't like as strict and as high up how they make it seem. Really nothing to be nervous about. Like it just, it's kind of like middle school, but just more mature. And like. Hey y'all, I'm back. But basically what I was trying to say, high school is not that different from middle school. And agree with me or not, it's really not. It's just people are different in a way, like they're older and teachers treat you different. And yeah, it's really not that different. But what would I know? I only went to middle school for one year. You have more freedom than you did in middle school because you were like a child. And now you're like, boom. They treat you, they treat you more different than middle school. But the teacher is saying that, oh, this won't slide and this won't slide. They literally lied. I didn't get to go to eighth grade because, you know, the C, the C happened. I don't know if I can say the word, the C. But that happened and I didn't do my eighth grade year, but seventh grade, they literally always talked about how teachers and all that don't tolerate nothing at all. Like nothing, like you can't get away with nothing. You can get away with so much in high school, but that's not to say you can do anything, like anything at all. You still like, you still gotta do it. Like you can't, you can't be really bad. You just dragged it out to make it like, to make you scared for no reason. Don't be scared. Like I really like, promise you from moving to one place to another, it's really not that bad. Like high school's not that bad. Though. Next thing is school supplies and you really don't need school supplies. Like honestly, teachers provide most of it, but what you do need is definitely a pencil. Pencil and notebooks. Like that's really what you really need. Unless like on your first day of school, they tell you otherwise because yeah, but don't buy hella stuff that you're not going to use. Just buy notebooks, pencils, folders. That's really, I'm going to show you all my book bag because I still got it. So this is my bag. The, this part is really nothing. And then this one, I got a lash, period. I don't got no pencil. See, that's the that's my mistake. But in the main one, I got one, two, three. I have five notebooks and two folders. Yeah, I got stuff in the folder. But yeah, you don't really need much because they provide it. And my grades were really, they weren't bad. Like, I had never got lower than a D. <laughs> But yeah, you really don't need much, and you could really take it from me. My grades were never, like, really low. Like, I think my lowest grade was, like, a 69. Like, honestly, that is bad, but chill out on me. And yeah, you really should take your grades seriously. Like, honestly, you have to keep up with your work. Like, don't get behind on anything. Like, don't be like how I was, and I was like, oh, I'm going to do it later. Or yeah, I'm gonna do it when I get home and I just never do it. Like do it whenever you have the time to. Like, I don't know if all schools have it, but advisory, like we don't do nothing in advisory. You do that, do all your work during the year and then you have nothing to worry about later. So yeah, that's how that's really what I did to keep my grades up. 
but baby in history my grade was bad a good good advice is be cool with your teachers especially if you know that you're not gonna be able to do like some of the stuff like on time like you're in sports and you're not focused on your work and all that but you should be you should be but if you're not you need to be cool with your teachers so they can be like okay you can like they give you more time to do your work but if you're not cool with them they're not gonna they're not gonna give you no chances trust me i know like one of my teachers we were cool until he wasn't he used to let me slack like, like I used to sleep in his class and then I used to do the work later. But then soon when like, we stopped being cool, I guess, then he stopped like letting me pass. He started putting M's in my grade book. Like what? Sir, what happened? It was just cool. Be cool with them, stay on their good side. And you know, school would be much easier for you if you're cool with everybody, like the staff, like the security, I don't know, all schools got it. Some, I don't know, security, the teachers, principals, if you cool with all of them, just just know, it's gonna be easy. Like you could, you could get away with a lot of stuff and be cool with people. Another advice that I feel like I should give to you, like big sister, is don't skip and don't be late. But the don't be late, that's really what you really need to focus on because if you have a lot of tardies, I know most schools, like, if you have a lot of tardies, then they, like, they give you detention. My school, you got, you have weekend detention, you know, Saturday detention, and then, like, advisory detention, like, all of that. Who wants that? Who wants to deal with that? So, try not to be late all the time, or don't make it habit to be late, and then skipping. If I'm being for real, everybody's going to skip at least one time. Everybody but skipping isn't good and if you get caught skipping that's even worse so i wouldn't recommend it but i used to skip i skip my sport which is track a lot like a lot almost every day you know almost every monday because that was the hard days don't make it a habit like you don't want to have that like as a habit to do like then you're gonna fall behind especially like if it's not a if it's academic, you don't want to fall behind. You really don't. You, like, I promise you, don't skip. I really don't have too much advice because it's really not that different from, well, it's different, but it's not different at the same time from middle school. You just gotta, like your freshman year, you really have to pay attention to everything and like do all your work and make sure you know who's real and who's not and make sure you don't tell everybody your business especially that one i forgot to say that don't tell everybody your business because if one person know trust me everybody is going to find out so don't do that Maybe my main advice and also a little a little another one don't pop out with a boy don't pop out <laughs> don't do that okay that's my last advice if I know y'all like, here she go, y'all, here she go. Let me explain why I said don't pop out. Because literally that's the downfall of every relationship. When you start posting about it, girls start getting shady and start getting weird. Knowing that maybe she wanted him and she didn't get him and you got him, then she gonna start acting weird. Or your friends see that you with him, then she gonna want him. Like, no. Or then he gonna start acting weird. Like, just popping out or pop... What is it called? I don't know. But... Just doing it, it's just a setup. Just keep it up, keep it all up. A part two to my advice. I feel like my advice is boring, but so if you want another one, just comment down below and let me know. But if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.